There are trillions of cells in the human body. And these body cells, they largely replace themselves every seven to ten years. So as we look at this time-lapse photography of this young boy growing up, every seven years there's a completely new physicality. Our memory, spirit, personality, they don't leave when the matter changes. As we watch the atoms of this man changing over the years, we watch this incredible saga. The personality, the memories, the soul, the spirit, they're not contained in the matter because that matter is different. Every seven years, we're completely new. All the electrons, all the protons, all the atoms are different. But yet, there's something inside us that's spirit. It's not of the matter. Now, it's also not of the DNA. These girls are identical twins. We start to realize that who we are is not just in the DNA. Even with the same DNA, identical twins might even have different sexes. And they're different. They have different fingerprints. The soul and the personality, it's not inside the DNA. The soul, our spirit, our personality, first it's shaped by our parents. Later it's shaped by our friends, school, education. We start to develop who and what we are, that sense of who we are. Develop that power. And this is strengthened by guided self-observation that helps us to develop more and understand and focus our minds. Our mind is partially a quantum computer of microtubules that use quantum entwinement to communicate within and without. A change in the microtubules in one brain cell can affect microtubules in another. Quantum theory claims that every single point in space, even empty space, can contain information. The information in the microtubules can connect and become entangled with the universe outside the brain. Through quantum entwinement, we can communicate with others telepathically, yes, and even affect things through time and space because of this development of the entwinement of all things in the universe. Many people fail to develop their soul because they are distracted by trivia, greed, anger, delusions of false belief, addictions, other things that are just not important, social media, etc. Their minds don't really develop, neither does their soul. Whereas others resist the distraction and develop the power of their soul to a high levels of spirit. They utilize exercise, yoga, good diet, and develop and concentrate on their health and focus development of their soul so that they can last and make an eternal soul. And their soul can last and develop past the limitations of their physical body. This soul, this spirit, this energy form, you see, we can extend it beyond the body. If we're driving the car, we can imagine that that car now is a projection of us. We try to protect it. If we get hit, we say, oh, the car got hit. Then there's the force of daydreaming. When we daydream, we have that imagination. We can go other places with our minds. In fact, the universe is our oyster. We can go anywhere. So we start to see that what we are, that soul, that spirit, that personality, that is us, it's not in the atoms. It's not in the matter. It's not in the DNA. What we call us is like software inside the hardware of the body, but a software that extends through the whole world web, beyond the body, through the universe, and it's time to wake up, we have spirit. Most people believe that our spirit survives death, and many, many people, vast majority of people, believe in a type of past life, that that soul, that spirit, that software, can go through time, space, so that that software is not tied to that hardware that it can move. Most people in the world believe this. They believe in the soul, the spirit.